it's fine. Hi, hi these are uh, an instrument called a sediment trap. They're like a, a big uh, rain gauge that we put out in the, in the middle of the ocean to capture all the material that's sinking out of the, of the surface. So that's all the dead plants and the animal remains. It's the, 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 the faecal material or the poos from the, from the zooplankton, who are the animals that, that uh, eat, the, eat the plants in the ocean. And they all sink out down to the bottom of the sea. And this instrument captures that material as it's sinking down and we can get an estimate of how much carbon has been taken from the surface ocean and um, captured down in the deep ocean. And when it's captured in the deep ocean, that carbon will, won't see the atmosphere for another 1,000, 1,500 years or so. So once it's in the deep ocean, it's, it's what we call sequestered away. It's, it's locked away in the, in the deep ocean for a long period of time. Whereas in the surface ocean, there's continual processes that are re-mobilising carbon and moving it around and changing it into dissolved form and into gases and things like that, so it can go back and back, back in and out of the ocean and into the atmosphere. But these traps, they they have a series of bottles that are uh, set um, along the bottom here, um, and. We can rotate each of those bottles around at set increments to measure how much material is sinking out over a day or a week or a month or um, a year if we like. Um, the traps can be put at any depth. We put them on a, um, a taut uh, wire mooring, so a wire, a wire line with a big anchor on the bottom, lots of floats like these, um, holding, the, holding the mooring up and off the sea floor. And we can put these at any depths down to about The six ones on Chatham Rise, what depth are they? The ones on the Chatham Rise, they're actually not on the Chatham Rise. Okay, they're, oh, uh, either side, sorry. Either side of yep. the Chatham Rise. And they're in uh, 3,000 metres of water. Right. Right. And the traps themselves are at uh, 1,500. So they're halfway um, in the middle of, middle of the water column. Okay, and what's the spiral thing that goes down through the middle? Is there a spiral setting? That the things slip down through? No, no. it's just a big cone. I okay, and just so, drop. So drop they in. just they just drop in things drop into the top right. and they right. just sink down through this cone. The idea of the cone is to try and capture everything, so that things will um, when they that they'll, they'll fall down and they'll gradually Got just it. move their way down down. Yep. down. And it's yep. all Teflon coated. It's designed by NASA. Right. You know, they've oh, used materials cool. designed by NASA. So. Oh. oh, cool. So these things are quite expensive. They're about. Probably about fifty, sixty thousand New Zealand dollars. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. So they're quite expensive. This is all yes. titanium. Right. So it's very, uh, very. Um, and the battery as well. Everything will have to be very careful. Yeah, batteries the are seat. just. They're actually just normal batteries you can get from uh, Dick Smith. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So they're probably, that's probably the most simplest part of the of the whole thing. Yep. There's a yep. little computer in here that uh -huh. that we program. Um, to, to uh, say how long we want the, the, each of the bottles to stay open yep. for yep. and we can program that for up to probably about 18 months we can put, deploy these awesome. traps in the water. So at the moment though do you reprogram them every six months? Or yeah that's what do? we've been doing over the last uh, 10 years okay. um, but this trip we're going out on next we're recovering the traps yep. and um, they're not going back in the water uh, for a, at least a year. Okay. Um, so we, until we decide what else we want to do, whether or not we're going to continue okay. this sort of work. Awesome. Thank you, Scott. Cool.